notice there are quite a few different materials here and it's a little bit too hard to show them all on screen all of the materials will be listed down in the description down below if you are making the chocolate covered strawberry then we're going to start off with any type of brown yarn any shade that you like but if you're just doing a regular strawberry then you're going to start with red yarn and continue that throughout the entire project since I'm doing the chocolate covered strawberry, I'm starting with the brown and we're gonna do a magic circle. So I'm taking two fingers like this, grabbing a hole of my yarn, twisting it around to create an X at the back of my fingers. And then I'm just going to insert my hook and grab this one to make a loop. Chain one and perfect that is our magic circle i have a full tutorial for this and i will link that down below if you need a little bit more help with that into the magic circle we are going to place six single crochets to do a single crochet you want to insert your hook into the magic circle yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first two loops on your hook i'm taking my stitch marker and i'm going to mark that as my first stitch now we want six of these into the circle, so we're gonna do five more for a total of six. Insert the hook into the circle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. That's the second one. Insert into the circle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's the third. This is the fourth. Fifth. And sixth single crochet of the magic circle. Take this loose tail end that's not attached to your working yarn and pull this tight and it will close the magic circle just like this. Now we're going to move on to round two of the strawberry. Round two of the chocolate covered strawberry will consist of increases in each of the six single crochets. So I'm taking out that stitch marker and keep in mind of that first stitch. We're going to insert our hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the two loops on the hook. And now take your stitch marker again and mark that stitch. Now an increase is two of the same stitches into the same stitch. So we're gonna go back into that exact same stitch that we just placed that single crochet and place another single crochet. So insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. Into the next stitch, we're placing one single crochet and then back into that same stitch, replacing our second single crochet. Into that next stitch, replacing single crochet, and then back into that exact same stitch, another single crochet. Into the next one, we're placing two single crochets. Back in, that's our second one and continue this in the remaining stitches. So two single crochets in each stitch. By the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches and you can count by going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and then that mark stitch is our 12th stitch. Round three and four are exactly the same. So we're gonna take out this stitch marker and we're just going to be single crocheting in each of the stitches all around. Go into that stitch and insert a single crochet. And let's mark this stitch that we just made to show that is our first stitch of the round. Now into the next stitch, one single crochet. Into the next stitch, single crochet. Into the next stitch, single crochet. Into the next stitch, single crochet, and you get it all the way around. Just one single crochet in each stitch. And your total stitch count by the end of round three should remain at 12 stitches. So I'm almost done the third round. And since round four is exactly the same, I'm going to do that exact same pattern. So take out that stitch marker, place a single crochet. I'm going to mark that stitch again. And into the next stitch, single crochet, into the next stitch, single crochet, into the next single crochet, and I'll meet you at the end of round four. Now that we have completed round four, we're going to start round five, and I'm going to take out this stitch marker again and start round five. I'm putting my hook in and creating one single crochet, just one into the stitch. Let's mark it. 
and into the next stitch we're going to place an increase so two single crochets that was our first one go back into that same stitch and place another one into the next stitch one single crochet and then into the next stitch an increase so those two single crochets into the next stitch one single crochet and then into the next stitch two single crochets so the pattern is one single crochet one increase one single crochet one increase let's continue this so into the next one single crochet then into the next stitch that increase into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch increase into the next stitch single crochet and our last stitch will be an increase and now we're done round five. In the sixth round, we're gonna be incorporating our color change. So if you're doing the chocolate covered strawberry, we're gonna to switch to red on round six, but if you're doing just a completely red strawberry, then you don't need a color change. I'm gonna start by taking out this stitch marker and we're gonna continue with doing single crochets just all around like regular this round. So I placed one single crochet. I am marking that stitch. Ooh, it's golden hour. <laughs> Into the next stitch, a single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet, into the next stitch, single crochet, and continue doing this until you are at your second last stitch. And I will show you how to do a seamless, beautiful color change. So I'm just approaching the end of this round. Color changes can seem intimidating if you're a beginner, but I will show you how to do them. So I have two stitches left i hope you can see with the sun two stitches left of my round i'm going to insert my hook yarn over and pull that brown yarn through now usually to finish off this stitch we would yarn over and pull through but since we're doing the color change i'm taking my red yarn and i'm just going to loop it onto my hook and just grab a hold of it now we're using the red yarn to pull through those two brown loops and once that red loop is now on our hook. I'm just going to finish the last stitch with my regular brown yarn, just like that. Now we can finally switch to the red yarn and this will give us our seamless color change. For the next round, we're doing single crochets again all around with the red yarn this time. So make sure you are working with the red yarn. I'm going into that stitch that I just removed the stitch marker out of and using the red yarn making a single crochet and I'm going to mark this stitch and now we're not going to use the brown yarn anymore continue this round single crochets in each stitch with the red yarn and I will meet you towards the end and I'll show you how the color change looks Now that I'm done the first round with my red yarn and we don't need the brown yarn anymore, I recommend just snipping that off so it doesn't get in the way and doesn't get tangled. So I always found whenever I was a beginner and I was doing color changes, it was so hard to figure out which piece of yarn I was using. But now we don't need the brown yarn anymore. And doesn't that color change just look so, so beautiful? It's gonna look really, really nice when we start doing the rest of the red rounds, which there's not very many left. So for this next round, we are going to be doing one single crochet and one decrease. So I'm taking out that stitch marker and I'm going to place a single crochet into that stitch that I just removed the stitch marker from. Now let's mark the new stitch. And to do a decrease, we're going to be going into the front loop of the next stitch, and then the front loop of the stitch after that, yarning over, pulling through those first two loops, and then yarning over and pulling through the next two loops. Again, I have a video on decreases and I will link it down below. And we're gonna continue this pattern. So into the next stitch, one single crochet, into the next stitch a decrease so we're going into that next stitch the front loop into the next stitch front loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through both next is a single crochet and next is the decrease so front loop of that next stitch front loop of the next stitch yarn over pull through and continue this all around so single crochet going into that next stitch's front loop the next stitch's front loop yarn over pull through pull through and continue this until you are at the last one so one single crochet 
now that we've completed, I think this is round eight, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, now that we've completed round eight, I'm going to start stuffing the strawberry because if I stuff it at the end, it doesn't give it the strawberry shape that I like. Taking a tiny bit of polyfill. Polyfill. Someone roasted me for saying polyfill in my last video. <laughs> but I'm just going to make that end of the strawberry very pointy and then I like to make the middle of it like a cute fat strawberry so I kind of just like shape it to the shape that I like and I'm just I'm not filling it all the way because I still have to crochet a little bit but just just to give it at least a little bit of shape well that looks like a cute strawberry yeah okay like this and then we'll continue with the last couple of rounds the next round is super easy. We're just doing one single crochet in all of the stitches all around. So I'm taking out that stitch marker, placing a single crochet. Oh my God, I hate the squeaky hook. It's fine, it's fine. We move on. One single crochet and then continue into the next stitches. One single crochet. And this noise is going to drive me absolutely crazy. I hope it doesn't sound that bad over the camera. No, I, I know it does. <laughs> But one single crochet all around and ta-da we are done round nine perfect we only have a few more rounds to go so I'm going to take out the stitch marker and for this next round same as the other previous round one single crochet place my stitch marker and then do a decrease so into the next stitches front loop in the next stitch is front loop, create that decrease, into the next stitch a single crochet, and then decrease, next stitch, single crochet, next stitch, decrease, single crochet, and then finally with the last two stitches we do our decrease. Ta-da! Beautiful, stunning, gorgeous to stuff the strawberry just a tad bit more and I'm going to show you there's two ways that you can kind of close off this project. One's a lazy way and one's the proper way <laughs> but we have my cute little strawberry and let's close the thing off. You're gonna need that darning needle and I'm gonna cut a long tail end for sewing. If you just continue pulling this loop that was on your crochet hook it will fasten it off and shut our strawberry is ready to be closed. I'm going to take out this stitch marker, thread that piece of yarn through the darning needle, and to close this off, you're going to want to go into that first stitch and sew, go into the next stitch, pull through, into the next stitch, pull through. It's kind of like this in and outwards sewing pattern that is used to close a lot of amigurumi projects. I find it works the best. And then keep doing that and you're going to make sure that you end on like an outwards one like this. So this is my last stitch here because when you pull these now, pull it tight, it'll close the circle off beautifully. And I take the loose thread and I just thread it through the entirety of the project. And that keeps it very secure with the polyfill. Once that is done, you can just snip that excess yarn off. And finally, we have the little body of our chocolate covered strawberry. We're gonna move on to the stem and the leaves parts. For the stem, I'm using green yarn and we're gonna start by creating the magic, the magic circle. So I'm taking my two fingers, wrapping around to create an X on the side with my nails and creating that magic circle. Now into the magic circle, we're going to do six single crochets. I'm inserting my hook, yarning over, pulling through, and then yarning over, pulling through the first two loops on the hook. Let's mark that stitch so we know. Then I'm going to do my second single crochet, third, fourth, fifth, and finally my sixth single crochet. Take that loose tail end of the magic circle and pull it tight closed. You do not want any gaps in between here. Now onto the next, I don't want to even call this a row because is it technically a row? I don't know. I'm going to take out the stitch marker here after we just did the six single crochets into the magic ring and into 
the first stitch, I'm going to do a slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through, and then continue pulling through. Now we're gonna do six chains. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, four, five, actually sorry, five chains, <laughs> five chains into this next stitch. So that second stitch from the hook, I'll show you. That stitch from the hook, I'm going to place a single crochet. So yarn over, pull through, and then continue pulling through. Into the next stitch, I'm going to do a single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops on that hook. And then into the next two stitches, I'll be placing one half double crochet. To do a half double crochet, we're gonna yarn over, go into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, you have three loops on your hook, and then yarn over and pull through all three. We're gonna do another half double crochet into that next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. Now we're gonna be going into the next stitch of that magic circle. Make sure you're not going into that same one. So into that next one, we're gonna do a slip stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then continue pulling through. And then we're gonna do, again, five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Into that second stitch from the hook, place a slip stitch. Into the next stitch, place a single crochet. Into the next stitch, place a half double crochet. And into the next stitch, place a half double crochet. Now into the next stitch of that magic circle, make sure you're not crocheting back into that stitch that we just made the leaf on, into the next stitch, slip stitch, and we're gonna repeat this leaf pattern all around. Five, one, two, three, four, five chains, slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, then place a single crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch. Go back in, create that other leaf, and continue this all around. I'm just finishing the last leaf here. Doing that slip stitch in the second chain from the hook single crochet, half double crochet, and then another half double crochet. Now, once your leaves are done, you're going to want to slip stitch into the next stitch away and do a slip stitch. You can just snip off a short tail end and pull your hook through and it'll fasten it off like this. I like to just go to the back of the leaves and secure it with a knot. So you should have a total of six leaves and I'll show you on the side where you have your knot, I'm just gonna snip away the excess yarn. This is the side that we don't want showing with our strawberries. You can see the stitches look a little bit jumbled. When we glue this onto the strawberry, which what you do is you quite literally just glue it onto the strawberry like this, you can glue all the leaves down or you can keep some of them up, whatever you want to do. I don't have a glue gun near me because I film away from an outlet, but you're just going to want to hot glue this or sew it on to your strawberry and it'll give it that cute little strawberry look. I always like to do the ends of my strawberry a little bit flared out, but yes, just make sure to hot glue the right side upwards so you can see the good stitches. Now, once you have added the leaves, which mine are not on because I don't have the hot glue near me, we're gonna do the chocolate swirl that I like to put on the chocolate covered strawberries. And if you also like adding seeds to your strawberries, you can add these too. I've just taken a small, well, not small, a long thread of white yarn and I've put it on my darning needle. And I like to start at the top here and there's a bunch of different swirls and patterns that you can do. I like to just go within the same row here and pull as much yarn as I can all the way through. Then go back into that same stitch and just create these almost sort of lines of chocolate. Everything always gets so tangled up. Ah! 
and it kind of just creates these cute little lines of a chocolate swirl and I just keep doing this all the way until I reach the bottom or as many swirls as I like I like that one and then I might actually do one in the middle here so I will but yeah, sometimes I do like a little swirl or I will just do the lines and I've kind of been liking the lines a lot more than the swirls, but it's just all about finding like a random sewing pattern that you want to do. Then I like to go back through this original one that I made here. I'm just cutting off a bit of the excess because I actually did a very long tail end. I'm gonna secure it with a knot. And then you can just take a crochet hook or the darning needle and thread that through your project and then just snip off the excess. This isn't the most perfect job. I always get so embarrassed whenever I make tutorials because my camera's like right in front of my face and it's so hard for me to see. Um, definitely do your swirls a little bit better, especially if you're gifting this to someone. But once the leaves are on, nice and secured, you're gonna have the cutest little strawberry to put in your crochet chocolate strawberry box. Here is my chocolate strawberry box that I made. I did a milk chocolate one, a dark chocolate, and then a plain one just to show you. As you can see on one of them, I added the seeds to the top and the other one I left plain. These are so cute that you can customize anything, any color that you want. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!